Good morning, this is Larry Edelson for my Uncommon Wisdom video for Thursday, February 18th. We're having uh, quite a bit more action again this week, a lot of concerns, ongoing concerns about Greece's dire debt situation, about Spain, about Portugal, about Europe's debt problems, whether or not uh, Europe will bail out, officially bail out Greece or not, who might be the next country in Europe to get hit with the debt problems. And this is uh, continuing to cause some considerable volatility in the markets. However, uh, if you watched my video last week, uh, some of the moves that we've seen so far this week should not be very surprising to you at all. I'll go right to the charts. Uh, let's take a look here at, at the gold chart. I'm going to pull it over for you here. This is, uh, the, again, the same chart we've been following because I want you to see this action in real time from week to week. Uh, as you understand my, uh, the markets and uh, gain further insight in, into how they move. Last week I, I told you that gold uh, had popped back above this important support line here and I was looking for a test of this dashed line here which uh, I said would be acting as resistance. Gold, however, has popped back above that dashed line that you see here and that's a very interesting, uh, significant, strong signal. I don't know yet if it means gold is going to go to the next dotted line here and start to break out in its next leg up. It's a little too early to say. However, even I'm a little bit surprised at how strong gold is here. And, and that says a lot for somebody who uh, uh, recently was, was uh, expecting no more than a tight trading range in gold to a slight downward bias. Another interesting point, I don't have this chart handy for you, but in terms of the euro currency, gold is at a record new high in terms of that currency because the euro has recently fallen much more sharply than gold has. So in terms of the euro, we're seeing record highs in gold while at the same time we've seen uh, you know, a rally back in dollar terms for gold. And that's a, 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 a testament to gold's underlying strength in its long-term bull market. Uh, still not enough to add to long positions here and certainly not enough in my opinion to go short here and I'm glad I was tempted to uh, hedge up some positions and even go short uh, a week or so ago uh, but I refrained from doing so and I'm glad I did. I need uh, perhaps another week uh, of trading uh, to, to get a handle on, on the short term here, uh, whether we're going to blast off in a new leg up or, or trade back down again to perhaps the 1010 level uh, and slightly under $1,000 uh, to make a play here. In between, trust me, uh, it, there, it's nothing but chop city until you get a high probability signal uh, to take on a long position or uh, to hedge up or go short. Let's take a look at the dollar now. The dollar, this chart also, again, uh, we're stuck in this area here after making a recent, recent high, we came back. Uh, the dollar, much like I said last week, is basically, uh, looks like it might have peaked in this rally and is doing nothing but chopping sideways right now. So we need a little bit more time there to determine the, the next short-term move for the dollar. The long-term trend for the dollar remains a bear market. Let's move on to the Dow. This chart here, pull it over for you so you can see a little bit quickly. I, I, a couple weeks ago I said we'd fall down to the middle of this big white space here, this V defined by the uptrend that you see here and this downtrend channel here. Uh, we fell just a, a hair above, uh, to, uh, to, to just a hair below 10,000, bounced off a, a technical signal that I had uh, on my reversal system. And last week we were rallying back a little bit here. I said that I would not be surprised, if you recall, to see Dow uh, move back up to 10,003, 10,004, up to this line here. This is the make or break line for the Dow. If the Dow can get back above this, close above this line here, uh, we will then start to consolidate and run to new highs. If it bounces off this resistance at 10,450 or so, 
uh, and starts to fall again, there's a high le uh, uh, probability that we will fall down to about 9200. So be prepared to uh, make some important decisions in the Dow in the days ahead. If we see it stumble up here, uh, I will probably be looking to take on some short positions, uh, perhaps even exit some long positions or hedge them up, looking for a decline down to 9200. If we hold this uh, above this, uh, we break through this line here and, and start to hold here just like gold has done, uh, we could be in for a, a, a substantial rally in the market. So we're reaching now a critical, critical turning point uh, in these markets. They're taking a few days uh, longer than I expected, um, but we're going to be getting some clear timing signals very soon. So stay tuned. Till next week, this is Larry.